Hello, and welcome to a grab-and-go video put on by me, Christine, the teen librarian at the Jones Creek branch of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Today, we'll be making two spectrometers. For our first project, we will need aluminum foil, a cardboard tube, tape, scissors, a piece of DVD that's been peeled away to reveal its diffraction grating. For your second spectrometer, you will need a template printed on one side and black on the other, tape, scissors, a slice of DVD as diffraction grating, and a cell phone. Let's begin. Cut your sheet of aluminum foil into two squares and two strips. It's okay if you have extra left over. Next, take one of your squares and fold it into quarters. Take your scissors and cut off a little piece of this corner. Take your CD diffraction grating and handling it only at the edges to not leave fingerprints, apply it to the hole at the center and tape around the edges. Take this piece and put it on your cardboard tube. So that your eyepiece is centered. Tape around this to secure it. Take your other square of foil and fold it into quarters again. Cut a little triangle out of the center point again. Unfold. Grab your two strips, fold them in half to give them a sharp edge. And then align them over your slit with a small gap in the middle, about the width of a nickel coin. Then tape your pieces down. Take the slit you've made and apply it to the other end of your tube. This is the end you'll point towards a light source, but not look directly at the sun, and this is the eyepiece you'll look through. When you look through the eyepiece at a light source, it'll project rainbows onto the inside of the tube. As you rotate the bottom slit piece, the rainbows will resolve into straight lines. When you've got a clear straight line, you are seeing the spectrograph of the light source you're painting at. Your first spectrometer. Let's make the second one. That will be to cut out the design along the red lines, including right here and here and here. Let's begin. Save this half of your instructions. You'll need the black on the back for a later part. Now that we've cut all of this out, we still have this part, this part, and this part to do. It gives you a little instruction for how to do that. Fold along dashed lines and cut out window. There we go. Our paper craft spectrometer is now cut out. Our next step is to trace along the dotted lines of the folds with a ballpoint pen or butter knife. We'll, we'll use a ballpoint pen to score the lines and make it easier to fold them in the next step. Now we'll crease along the lines. There's a code to them, whereas 
tiny little dits like these may make a mountain fold like that whereas large dashes like the ones that were here before I colored over them mean valley fold so a fold that goes up in a V shape There, with all of our folds in place, our spectrometer is already almost taking shape. Now it's time to attach our DVD fragment where it tells us to, right here on the back side of the paper. I'll put that in place and tape the edges. Cut off the excess tape. There's our taped-in diffraction grating made from a DVD. Our next thing would be to either make these slits narrower or leave them as is. To make them narrower, grab some spare black paper. I think I'll actually use some of these offcuts from the template side. And we're supposed to tape them over the slit called A2. There's a thin slit with nice straight edges. Now it's time to assemble the model. So it says D goes there. E goes here. D goes there. D goes there. All right, I'll tape that all into place. Now these flaps here actually don't get taped down back anyway. They're what will attach to your cell phone. What you'll do is take this and on the back of your cell phone, tape it over your camera, centered so that when you look through your camera, you can see the rainbows projected on the top of the thing. This way up. Here's what the rainbows look at when you're not exactly pointed at a light source. I'll leave the calibration instructions to the public lab. If you visit the public lab's website, you'll find Spectral Workbench, an app that is currently not available actively online, but does have an archived version where you can calibrate your spectrometer using a compact fluorescent bulb and find other elements and other lights that you can analyze. Again. Please do not point this at the sun. So, here are our two paper craft and cardboard spectrometers with their diffraction grating and rainbow vision on the inside. If you've enjoyed this grab-and-go activity, comment positively on our social media and return to the library for more grab-and-go activities.